So I'm with Tom Zaki, and he's with Terra Cycle, and I'm super, super excited for my children because of what he is doing with waste and recycling. And he's won over 200 awards for his social entrepreneurship. So thank you very much for being here, Tom. It's, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So tell me, what, in, what inspired you to create Terra Cycle? You know, when I was a, a freshman at college, um, I was really thinking about what's the purpose of business. And the more and more I dug into it, the more the feedback came, well, the purpose of business is profit for shareholders. And while I think that's a really good function of business, I don't think it's the purpose per se, except to maybe a very few stakeholders, the owners of, of the business. I think people, employees, customers, vendors, you name it, the entire sort of ecosystem works with the business for what it does, what service it provides, what product it makes. And so I wanted to think about creating a really purposeful business. And the purpose that we focused on was garbage, because garbage is a massive issue and has incredibly little innovation around it. Um, it's something that is just for how big of a topic it is, it's incredibly uninnovative. And so that's how TerraCycle came to be. Um, we started, uh, the idea came up 15 years ago. We have our first revenue 13 years ago. And since then, we've been straight growth every year uh, since, uh, since those beginnings. Awesome. And when you reflect back on your career, Tom, what would you say has been your biggest career learning? You know, I think uh, one of the biggest learnings for me has been this idea that you have to stay true to your core. Our core is waste. But it's very important to be open to evolution around that uh, uh, in very dramatic ways and not to get too stuck. Um, I'll give you an example. So when we first started, uh, our first product was actually liquid worm poop in a soda bottle. I happen to have one here. It looked like this. This is organic waste fed to worms. Worms poop out worm poop, make a liquid worm poop, and it's actually packaged in used soda bottles. That's an old Coke bottle. Awesome. And that's how we began, making products out of waste. And... Uh, it, uh, it grew, I mean, where I'm sitting now was 300 people bottling uh, and so on. And we realized that as we grew and grew that that's not really gonna solve all waste because when you make a product as the hero and that's your whole focus, you're gonna try to pick the very best ingredients or the very best garbage. And so we shifted and completely rejigged our model about five years into our business to be more focusing on the waste mm. uh, as the hero. So. The first model began with what do we want to make and then what type of garbage can we make it from? That's the product, the hero. Now it's the, and for the past 10 years, the garbage is the hero where it's what type of garbage uh, needs to be collected and recycled and then how can we turn that into something? Awesome. And that may seem similar on the surface but it's fundamentally different on how we behave as a business but the key is the kernel is still the same. It's still about how do you solve waste? I think if you lose the kernel, you get very distracted and it becomes, it just sort of goes all over the place.